Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy at your homes. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen. And I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you already know that we are on unit number one, Sun. And today is its fourth lesson. We have already covered first three lessons. So let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lesson. So you have to answer a few questions for that. How does light travel? Light travels in a straight line very good how do shadows form when the path of the light is blocked by an object the shadow or a dark part is formed behind the object that is called its shadow and what is a shadow a shadow is a dark portion that forms uh, as a result of light blockage okay so my dear students, very nice. You already know that the sun gives us heat and light. It tells us directions. And you know that the light, whether it's sunlight, it's the light from a bulb or tube light, torch, mobile, all the light forms of light travel in a straight line. Okay. And you know that when you block the light, the shadows are formed. Up uh, lamp ki light ko block kare, tabhi shadows banenge. If you are blocking the light of the sun, uh, then also the shadows are formed. So, I will tell you that within a classroom, you can see light we have to do this. That light is the same as we have to do time. How this light uh, tells us the time. So, now I will tell you a practical thing which is very fun and you will really like it. Okay? Here you can see I have made a tree. I have made a tree, you can see it. And now I will change the, these are the sources of light, you can see. I have two mobile phones. And now what I will do is, I will make the shadows. Can you see the shadow? Can you see the shadow? Here you can see when the light is falling on this tree, the shadow is forming here, here. And the shadow is long. So that means when the light is lower, the shadows are longer okay again if i will move it on the top of the tree the shadow becomes extremely small and short so with the movement of the light here it is at the top you can see the source of light is at the top of the tree now i will move it on this side and again the source of light is source of light is um lower and again the shadow is longer here it was shorter and now it is again longer so when the light comes down it is lower the shadows are longer and when the source of light is on the top of the object the shadows are uh, smaller so this is how you can tell the time now my dear students I will show you how we can tell the time with the help of sunlight so the shadows and their position tells us the time. जब पहले जमाने में ये modern clocks नहीं होते थे, तो people were used to tell the time with the help of the shadows that are formed. Day में, evening में, दोपहर में, the way the shadows were formed, the people were used to tell the time. So my dear students, let's quickly have a look. अब यहाँ पे आप देख रहे हैं, the sunlight is lower. The shadows are longer. Here you can see the sunlight is at the top above the tree and the uh, shadow is smaller. Again you can see the sun is again lower and the shadows are longer. So this is how in the morning and evening the shadows in the morning and afternoon the shadows are longer whereas in the noon the shadows are smaller. So that is how we can tell the time. Okay? Let's have a look at this student learning outcome for today given on page number 5. Recognize that the size and direction of the shadow can be used to estimate guess the time. Okay? Aap direction of shadow se kitna uska size hai, kya uski placement hai, you can easily tell the time. We will read about this. So my dear students, Islamic perspective, have you not seen how your Lord spread the shadow? He, if he willed, he could have made it still. Then we have made the sun its guide. So with the help of the sun, 
the shadows that are formed they are constantly moving and they help you to tell the time dekhiye allah taala ne kitni zabardast hamare liye ghadi banayi hai suraj ko and with the help of the shadows we can tell the time so my dear students let's quickly move forward towards some pre reading questions when an object blocks the way of the light what is formed shadow very good how does the light travel again it travels in a straight line very nice so my dear students now quickly open page number 8 in your books pause the video and open the page i hope everybody has open page number 8 in their books we have already done the formation of shadows today we will read about the size of the shadow tells estimated time put your fingers where i will read size of the shadow tells estimated time we can estimate <coughs> sorry <coughs> we can estimate time by observing the size of the shadow and its direction when the object's shadow is the longest and to the west it is morning time when the sun is exactly above our heads the shadows are the shortest it is noon time when the sun goes down towards the west the size of the shadows again increases and it is to the east of the object the shadows are the longest once once again when the sun is ab about to set it means it is afternoon time thus the size and direction of the shadow tells the estimated time so my dear students extremely easy bahut hi easy hai ki kaise jo hai aapne dekha ki agar jo hai मॉर्निंग टाइम में आप यहाँ पे देखें दिस इज मॉर्निंग टाइम एंड द सन इज राइजिंग फ्रॉम द ईस्ट दिस इज ईस्ट यू कैन सी इन द डायरेक्शन एंड द शेडो इज टूवर्ड्स द वेस्ट क्योंकि हमेशा जो है सोर्स ऑफ लाइट से ऑपोजिट होता है आपका शेडो सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज मॉर्निंग टाइम एंड द शेडोज आर द लॉन्गेस्ट देन कम्स द नून टाइम यानी कि दोपहर का टाइम द सोर्स ऑफ लाइट इज एट द टॉप एंड द शेडोज आर द शॉर्टेस्ट so that is this means ki ab dopahar ho gayi hai now the afternoon time yani ki dopahar ke baad ka time jab sham hone lagti hai the sun moved towards the west ye dekhe west ki taraf suraj chala gaya and the shadow is towards the east so this means it is afternoon time and again the shadows are the longest so that means when the source of light is lower the shadows are the longest when the source of light is above you the shadows are the shortest so my dear students now you can easily tell the time by just looking at your shadow whether it's morning noon or afternoon so my dear students let's quickly move towards the practice very easy you will have to you have to open page number 11 aur aapko ye practical karna hai by going into the ground maine aapko classroom mein table pe ye practice karke dikhaya hai abhi before we read the chapter ke you have to insert a stick in the ground and at the different times of the day you have to draw its shadow you have to tell its direction and you have to tell the time take students to the school ground at different time intervals fix a stick in the playground and with the help of its shadow ask students sorry ask students to find out the sun's position the given diagram show a stick in the ground label them hint you may use direction arrow ठीक है ड्रॉ द सन एट द प्रॉपर पोजिशन एंड शेडो ऑफ द स्टेक डिपेक्टिंग द मॉर्निंग टाइम आफ्टरनून टाइम एंड इवनिंग टाइम सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आप यहाँ पर डायरेक्शन भी यूज कर सकते हैं इस तरीके से और उसके बाद जो है आपको ग्राउंड में जाना है एक स्टेक इंसर्ट करनी है उसके बाद जब आप डिफरेंट टाइम्स पे उसका शेडो ड्रॉ कर लेंगे स्टिक्स का इट विल चेंज एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स ऑफ द डे एक ही स्टिक आपको इंसर्ट करनी है उसके बाद आपको सन ड्रॉ करना है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज मॉर्निंग टाइम मैं आपको एक करके दिखा देती हूं पोजिशन ऑफ द सन इज इन द ईस्ट सॉरी
and position of the shadow is towards the west and the size of the shadow is longest. So, here you will make a shadow bhi banayenge, stick. Ka. So, this is how you will do this activity. So, my dear students, I have this activity uh, khud bhi perform ki. I inserted the stick in the ground and I made the shadows at different times of the day. They were longest in the morning and in the afternoon and they were short in the noon. As you can already see, you can al also measure them with a measuring tape. Or with a scale, and you can easily tell by the length that the shadows are shorter or longer ho jate hai, with the positioning of the light. So, you can pause the video and you can perform this activity with your teacher. Now, my dear students, we will move forward towards the practice. Why does the size of a shadow increase when the sun goes down? So, when the source of light is lower, the shadows are the longest. Theek hai? So, that's why the shadows are the longest. If the sun is above your head, what will be the estimated time? Jab suraj aapke upar hota hai, shadows will be shortest. What will be the estimated time? It will be noon time. Very good. So, my dear students, for evaluation, let's quickly answer some questions. How could we observe time from the shadows? By looking at the uh, size and position of the shadow, we can tell the time. What is the time when the shadows are the longest? It may be morning or afternoon. What is the time when the shadows are the shortest? It is noon time. Very good. So, my dear students, your homework for today is a worksheet. Yahan pe aapko suraj nazar a raha hai, tree nazar a raha hai. Or you have different positions pe shadow draw karna hai with the positioning of the sun or you have to hai whether it is morning, evening or noon. I will first one draw karke deti hun. Here you can see the sun is in the east according to the compass and the shadow will be here and it will be longest. So this is morning time. You will do rest by this morning, noon and afternoon aapko batana hai yaha par and you have to uh, draw the um, shadow also. So my dear students, your wrap up for today is we can estimate time with the help of shadows cast by the sun. Jo shadows su suraj ki roshni ko rokne ki wajay se cast hote hai, we can tell the time by those shadows. So my dear students, today you have learned a new thing about the sun and its use. So keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day and Allah Hafiz.